What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at OpenShift's CLI OC. Now, what I'm essentially doing here is I'm actually running OpenShift locally so you can run containers locally with OpenShift. So as you can see, I have OpenShift running right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click copy OC login command. So these containers are just running locally here. It's, it kind of feels like Docker desktop in a sense where you could just run containers locally, essentially the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my terminal and then I'm going to paste this command in here. Now notice it's the OC login. The username is cube admin because I'm going in with the admin credentials, the password, and then the URL to my instance. And because it's local, this is what it looks like. I'm actually going to copy this password as well because I'm going to need that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run that. And as you can see, I am logged in successfully. Now to run this, you'll of course have to install OC. So if you just look up OpenShift CLI install, you can go right here. And then you can see the installation based on your operating system. So they have it for Linux, they have it for Windows, and Mac OS. So go ahead and pause the video, and then once you do that, let's head back to our terminal. Now, I'm at the terminal here, and I'm just going to run OC. Now, as you can see, there are a few different options that are available. We've already done the login. We can create a new project. We can look up blogs for pods, etc. We can even type in OC status and we can see the running status of essentially what's happening inside of our OpenShift cluster. And as we can see, we have an Nginx image deployed. So let's kind of dive into that a little bit more. If I run OC get pods, I'll see all the pods running. Now the really cool thing about OpenShift CLI is that the commands to interact with the Kubernetes environments really feel like kubectl. So if you're used to running kubectl get pods, running OC get pods are going to essentially be the same thing. We can run OC get deployments, and then we can see all of our deployments right here, OC get service, and then we can see our services running here as well. And that's, of course, not the only thing that we can do is, you know, just get environments like pods and deployments. We can also create stuff as well. So if I type in OC, we can see here that we can create a new project. So OC, new project, Nginx app. Okay, and as you can see, we have now created that project and I'm logged into my OpenShift cluster. If I refresh here, and if I go to projects, and if I just search right here, we can see that we have our Nginx app project and we can even deploy applications. So I'm just gonna CD to my desktop really quick and I'm gonna run OC create minus F Nginx.yaml. Now this is just a standard Kubernetes manifest that I have running. It's just deploying an Nginx application essentially. And then if we scroll down under workload so we can go to deployments, we can look up Nginx and we can see that our Nginx app is running actually two of them because I had one deployed before and both of those are now running. So if you wanna get started with the CLI, it's definitely an awesome way to really break into not only OpenShift, but having the ability to automate OpenShift.